think it's recording now. I think it is. Erica okay. is recording the call. I think it is. Okay. Hey, everybody. This is Erica. Hi, guys. This is Nate. I'm and we are, again. and we're back, and we are here to read comments from the Real Housewives of Atlanta video that we did on Sunday. So we're going to read the comments, and we're going to respond to a couple of them. This is not going to be a very long video, um, but we are going to. Hold on, let's see. I want to make it make it bigger. Hold on, Diva. Oh. Okay, so let me get it. Um, I'll do this. Girl, I'm doing the most. Hold on. All right, there we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> I had to get it together. Okay, let me get it together. Get it together, Aviva. Get it together, Aviva. Okay. See. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get comfortable. Okay. I, oh, I'm not gonna even cut this out. I don't feel like cutting stuff out. I think it and it loads faster, honey. The diva is infused. Letting you letting y'all know, so she has to get her shit together. <laughs> well, I'm definitely sober. To get her stuff together, all, all honey. Um. Okay. Where are we here? Okay. Oh, fifty thousand views. Thank you guys for everybody who has watched. The review that Nate, <laughs> Nate and I did. 50,000? Yes, it says 50,000. Thank you guys for watching. Somebody, some people were like, this is clickbait. I was like, if you don't read, it says R R H O A recap in the damn title. <laughs> Why are you talking about this is clickbait? What are you talking about? Shut your ass up. Good That's the first dummy. comment we're gonna get rid of. <laughs> Bye. Let me let me turn you up in my headphones, Diva. Hold on. Turn the diva. I, turn the diva mic up. Yes, I gotta hear you. Uh, so, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Are you better? I couldn't hear you. Okay, so we are going to. I'm getting my head together. Okay, so let's read the comments. First comment. We're going to read about maybe five. It depends on how long we go, but we're not. This video is not going to be long, y'all, because people got things to do. Okay? All right. Diva, you could. Oh, you can't even look in the comments right now, huh? I can't. Okay, let me just read some. Okay, Erica. Um, oh, Erica, let the guy speak more next time. Talking about you. <laughs> I thought we did pretty well with uh, letting each other talk. I think so. I think we did too. We talk how we talk. We don't really cut each other off. We're not really that. We don't really do like that. You, Sometimes we talk over each other, but we don't, you know. Yeah. I don't think we do that. But anyway, so stop pretending that you're paying attention to what he's saying. Girl, that's from Voodoo Villains. Ugh. What kind <laughs> okay. of name is that? That's, that's, that's a secret code, okay? Um, it says, Erica, as usual, you are on point. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Nate. Love him already. Emoji kissy. I didn't oh, like how it seemed like Eva and Kenya let Portia talk over them. And didn't go for their neck. Portia was being so ghetto and hood. I feel like <laughs> Eva... <laughs> I feel like Nini really needed need to keep an eye on Portia and not Kenya because Portia showed how she was willing to go to any length for that dollar she's working to secure the bag for next year. Come on, dollar. Come on, dollar. Okay, come on. Let me get down in it. Eva called Portia nappy head hoe, and even though <laughs> not a nappy head hoe. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> <This company. laughs> okay, shit, I can't even see. 
Okay, Eva called Portia. This is from Jean or Jean P. Maybe Jean P. The last comment was from MW. So Jean P says, even Eva called Portia a nappy headed hoe. And even though Portia was being fake at the reunion, Kenya put her feelings to the ice and explained why Eva was wrong. Okay, yes. Eva did. She did. Kenya did the explain to Eva why she was wrong. And right. talk about that. Right. Okay. Hold on, let's see. Okay. Candy did absolutely nothing to Nini. Nini started, this is from Yes Ma'am Kiri J. Kieri J. Yes Ma'am Kieri J. Candy did absolutely nothing to Nini. Nini started dogging Candy on social media and her minions followed. Also, why does it sound like Nini is trying to convince people that she's the queen and she's running things? If she if she was, her work would speak for itself. Notice, Candy don't have to do that. That doesn't have to do all of that. So why does it? Why why do you think Nene does that? Like she always has to. Um, I'm gonna get into why she's gonna do why she does that. But she always has to put. A, I'm the queen. I'm the queen. She probably feels that way because her mother left her. Oh diva. <laughs> and she got. She needs to Out get. The <laughs> <laughs> she she has to get she needs to feel good about something and because she was first on this and she was help you know you know was the nucleus of bringing these girls together I think you know that's why she feels that way because she was abandoned by her mother mm-hmm. from New York she had to go to reason? Athens Georgia yeah oh yeah because she lived in New York at first yes that's right mm-hmm. and um I think it's because this is her claim to fame. I think that Real Housewives is her claim to fame. And so she wants to hold on to that. And no bitch is going to come in here and take that away from her. And they keep bringing women onto the show who have had careers afterwards. So they can leave and still drop. If the Real Housewives of Atlanta were to end, yes, she has her businesses and stuff like that. I'm sure she'll be okay, but it's this is her claim to fame. This is Nene's claim to fame. This is not Candy's claim to fame, nor is it Kenya or Cynthia or Eva. Right. Portia? Maybe the Sum Cut video was her claim to fame. What it is, ho? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Was she even the leading lady in there? I thought she was just like in, in no, the No, she was off to the side. She's, she got a, t- a, two, a two-piece snack and a drink and a sweet tea. That was her payment. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Diva, here we go. Diva, dear, here we go. I got a clock on our time, so we won't go over. We won't go over time. Dennis looks like a beaver, so Portia should be happy. She had she has a pretty little girl, but we all know why she's really with him. Dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, and she knows he's ugly. That's why she's so mad at Eva. That's from <laughs> <a> the <good> age. <laughs> well, yeah, Shut definitely. Out. Shut out. Definitely. Um, but you know, you know, he had a hair business that he sold. I don't know if it was weave or what, but I know he he sold like a hair business for like millions of dollars. Really? So, yes. Yeah, so he got money, like for mm-hmm. real. He got money. Dennis, well, that's what she's with him. You know, I mean, there's no other reason. That's why everybody was saying when she first got with him, like, girl, why are you with this ugly ass man? And here come her face <laughs> looking like this ugly ass man. We all knew it was for the dollar. We all knew it was for the dollar. And now you have this baby that you have to put a bow on. You got to put a bow on PJ. <laughs> what it is, ho. <laughs> you got to put her. Okay, come on. Let's see. Um, y'all need to do more lives t- together. This was good. That was Lorraine Briggs. Hey, Lorraine, we doing one right now, girl. Hey, uh, girl. Let's see. Um, oh, my God. Who is Prius? <laughs> that people, Prius need to drag her friend, the Moose, because not one time did Moose say that baby was cute in it. What? Okay, girl, I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you was trying to say Portia. Oh, Portia? maybe it's Portia. Portia. needs to drag the Moose, which is Nini. <laughs> Thanks, Diva. <laughs> <laughs> because Nini has not one time said that, uh, well, on camera has stated that Portia's baby is cute. 
she always says little Dennis or baby Dennis. Uh, uh-huh. That's true. That is true. Yes, that is what exactly what she said, Diva. It says Prius Prius need to drag her friend the moose. Because not one time did Moose say the baby was cute. Any flattering words you would say when you see your friend's baby. Instead, she chose to reiterate that baby looks like Dennis. That's exactly what she said, Diva. Thank you for the translation. Shout out to Coco Blue. And she came back. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not good. laughs> All right. Um, Supreme of Shade. Shout out to Supreme of Shade. Divas, this review was one of the best. It was so, so good. I watched it twice. Bam. You guys need to do a weekly video or a podcast or at least a review all the major reunion shows together. The children are going to eat it up like Thanksgiving dinner and still be hungry for more. Oh, that was nice. Oh, num, num, num. <laughs> <laughs> that was so nice. Okay, here. Okay, let me go. Let me get, I'm going to read a big comment. Portia's, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Nashella Pinnock said, I want the Portia text and receipt to unfold a little more. I do feel there could be a connection between the text messages and the little issues that popped up between Kenya and Cynthia. Okay. You watched Speak on It. Speak on It. We got watched. that tea today. Yes. I can't understand when she said it. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. Speak on it. Speak I can't. You know I can't. <laughs> Y'all know I'm never here for candy. Y'all know Never. <laughs> ever. Never, never, ever. <clears throat> but I will give candy her props when it's due. I'm not that big of, I just, I just don't like her ways. And you guys see a little bit of her ways in the bone collector. But we saw on Speak On It today that she and Cynthia had a conversation. And Cynthia said that those receipts weren't really about her it was more about Eva mm -hmm. I told y'all not to believe shit Portia say that, that she was fucking drunk at 7 o'clock in the damn morning <laughs> <laughs> that bitch had fucking hit it in Red Bull and a damn mimosa and then switched it up <laughs> and then switched it up girl that was a mess I'm watching well, look, look, this, look, oh, this is off subject but I don't know why I got so irritated watching speak on it when I saw Mike in the background why did you get your ass? Get your ass. Go sit your ass down. <laughs> you just want to be seen, don't you? Oh, I can't stand that. And then you're going to have the nerve to look back in the camera. <laughs> oh. Oh. Girl, were you recording? I didn't know. Girl. <laughs> I feel okay. I saw uh. his ass back. I was like, who is that moving stuff around? You want to be seen. Ain't nobody tell you to come out here and fluff these pillows. They've been, they've been out here. <laughs> 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 Ain't brought no damn drink out there, nothing. Just out nothing. there. Just out. <laughs> you can sit here, Shout, out Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Chill. <laughs> here you come. No drink in hand, nothing. Just want to be seen. Okay, here we go. No, I'm not a Kenya fan, but I commented here. I commented her for educating Eva. Okay, we got that. We got that. We're clear on that. Come on, Viral Reunion. Shout out to Quintessential 2. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shout out to Nene. And that broken ass English. Girl. Girl. Oh my god. She didn't call Wendy Williams Wendy Williams. She called her Wendy Williams. Just like bridesmaid. Girl. <laughs> and she even said bridesmaid again when she was interviewing Jennifer. Did you see? Did you... Yeah. <laughs> you was even my bridesmaid. Girl, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's embedded in her brain. Bridesmaid. <laughs> and you went to college? What college? What she said? What college was that? No, she said, what Whoa. strip club was that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Can nobody, can nobody ever say that Claudia did not read Nene down, Diva? I know she, we she always read talk Nene down, picked her ass back up, and threw her ass back on the ground. Her back on the ground, and Diva, she everything she said, she had something to say. Now that's how you read a bitch when she says something to you, and you come back with something 
with facts. Girl, your hair looks like top ramen. What else did she say? She let that lady have it. She said, what did she say? She was like, yeah, all these and jobs I got. Which ones? The ones that got canceled? Because <laughs> Hollywood is not checking for you. But Atlanta <laughs> is. And that's why you're so bothered. Why you so bothered, girl? My favorite one, though, is what she said. What did she say? Oh, you done fucked all of Hollywood. You jealous? <laughs> you girl, jealous? <laughs> you jealous? <laughs> All right, here's another comment. This is from Stephanie Norris. Portia will fit in. <laughs> Portia will fit in on Love and Hip Hop cast, not Real Housewives of Atlanta. Portia and Nene do not need to see Kenya with any friends. It seems like Portia is trying to discredit Kenya being a good friend of Cynthia in an effort to appease Nene because she's jealous of Kenya and Cynthia's relationship. What do you think? You think she's jealous of Cynthia and uh, Kenya? I do. Um, I don't tell you know. This. I think she's me, jealous of the relationship. Let me just say I, Go ahead, say. Let me just say this. I think it's weird that all of us, even even I th- it comes from really them doing it, but all of us compare ne- what Nene does, and then we cross reference it to what Ken- Kenya does, as if these are two people who are the same person. Like, well, if if Cynthia has a good friendship with Kenya. And you you let Kenya get away with these things. I could never do that to you. Yes, you are two different women. I and we always do that. I noticed that they do that on every reunion. Well, you did this. Well, if I, and Nene is always saying, I could never do that. You're a different person, right? Just like Candy always makes the, the um makes a comment about her mama and her friends or her her husband. I'm not gonna be a one way. I'm not gonna be away with my mama. Um. Uh, like I am with you. Like, I'm going to be... My mama is my mama. Right. <laughs> my friends are my friends. My friends are my friends. So, yeah, I'm going to cut y'all ass out, but I'm not going to... I choose right. not to do that with my mom. And my adversaries are my adversaries. That's a, And that's how we treat each other. What are you talking about? Kenya throws shade to Cynthia a lot, and Cynthia doesn't have a problem with it until someone points it out, i.e. the wine comment. Portia didn't start out having an issue with Kenya. It was only when Kenya called Tanya a cunt and brought the cookie lady around. Girl, that's not that's that ain't got shit to do with you. That ain't got shit to do with Portia. Wait a minute, let me finish reading this. She said Portia didn't start having an issue with Kenya until Kenya brought okay. Um, Tanya didn't deserve that, and Portia was defending Tanya, and that was all before Portia and Nene made up. Just my opinion. That was Samantha Proctor. Now, we saw today we got a little glimpse into Tanya's personality on Speak on It. That the day that the cookie lady talked to um, Kenya and Cynthia, Cynthia said that that day she called Tanya and told her some woman came up to them say, talking about Paul. And she acting all damn surprised when the shit came out. So when they're in Toronto, you knew exactly who Kenya was talking about. But you act like, oh, is she talking about me? Is she talking about me? No. <laughs> so, we gotta, so we know that Tanya, Tanya ain't the step for wife that we think she is, fool. She got on my nerves. Portia is the type of woman that would allow a man to walk all over her and blame her friends for hooking them up. <laughs> <laughs> you introduced me to him, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes, Nene's 15 minutes is up and all her duties that row her reads and bloggers can file for unemployment. That was Phyllis glowing. Shout out to her. That was her comment. That was funny. Let's see. What else, Diva? What did you think about what she was saying on Speak On It? Cynthia? Yeah, what was Cynthia? What, what did you think about what she was saying? Um, first of all, I love when Cynthia curse. Like, that just... I love me the fuck up. I don't know why. I love it. Every time she says some shit, I I love it. I love it. I love when she cusses. That's what I was watching her today, and they kept bleeping her out. I said, "But, but Cynthia is cussing up a storm, honey, dropping all the f bombs and everything." I like. I think she. I think she. She. She keeps it real. I think you know. Um, she's real subtle, but I think you know. She 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 was real. I think all of her an- her answers to the questions were honest, mm-hmm. and she answered them to the best of her ability. Um, and I think it was like genuine. So, 
Yeah, I think so too. I think she, but the thing about Tanya, the tea she dropped about Tanya, I think acting like Tanya didn't know who that woman was, didn't know that a woman had already come up to them and talked to them about Paul and then was already there when they shot the scene. Like she knew that woman was going to be there. Like, I don't know. That's crazy. Right. It's so crazy how she said production. She was like, yeah, I wanted everything to be at the wine cellar, but they was like, oh, since Kenya's bringing Brooklyn, let's go over here. Take her to the cookie place. To the cookie place. And but then, even I, what I did like too was I don't even think the uh, the cookie lady what's her name Cheyenne Cheyenne I don't know she I really Shiana, Shiana something like that but I think with her she what do you think do you think she really wanted to be in the spotlight or she didn't want to be in the spotlight or she just wanted to like drop a nugget and see where it kind of unfolds okay. or what well what do you think because even I think that she didn't I think because she waited for the cameras to go down. Yeah. I don't and think she and, wanted to. She, I don't think she necessarily wanted to insert herself into this reality show that way. And I think that's why Cynthia didn't think it was a big deal because she was like, Tanya's not going to be on the show. She's not really on the show. She's not a housewife. So we don't really get into their personal lives. So let me just tell her that this girl came up to us saying something. And she, I don't think Cynthia thought it was ever going to come up. I don't even think, I don't think the girl wanted to be on TV per se, but the opportunity to bring business to her business, I think she was like, cause she did, she's had, she's done some interviews. So yeah, she's done a few. I watched some of them as well. Yeah. So she's done some interviews and it, it, she would be smart to, you know, bring some stuff to her, some business to herself, some traffic right. to her right. business. <clears throat> Portia can't be mad. <clears throat> this is from Kim Collins. Portia can't be mad at Eva for saying her baby looks like her daddy. I hope I never have a baby with someone and get mad that the baby looks like him because I look like my daddy and it's not a read. Okay. I think it was the way she said it. Someone's, uh, this is Miss Decatur. I think it was the way she said it. Um, like the baby is in drag. <laughs> <laughs> so the intent because behind it. It is the intent. And that's when Kenya said the same thing about Nene. You, your sons look like you. Mm -hmm. Go look at Nene's son. <laughs> they're not, to me, they're not my type. Not desirable. And I, I, I was a read calling you ugly and your kids came out looking like you. <laughs> you didn't change has, your face. She, Nene had a problem with it because she's like, oh, my face is gorgeous. No, you didn't change what it. What you want? Now... Right. Right, Man, girl, your yeah. nose, it's like the doctor took a stencil. You remember those stencils that you could draw? Like, you had your nose constructed, like, at least 14 times with a stencil. I think she's done her nose three times because it's, it's changed three times that I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> and what about when Andy, somebody, okay, Bohemian Experience, shout out to oh. Bohemian Experience. <laughs> Come on, Bohemian. I'm like, that name, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Andy and his mutes. I was looking for you all to discuss. Overall, good review with the co-host. Happy belated Mother's Day, uh, which is actually every day. Hugs. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Shout out to you. Thank you. Um, this is from Queen Yasriel 803. Portia needs to do some research on Catherine Zeta Jones, who was married to Michael Douglas. She got a million for every year she was married to him and more money every time he cheated. And then somebody and then he said, these men are not rich. <laughs> <laughs> that was Riri the brown skin girl shout out brown skin girl okay what else diva somebody said Kenya carried the whole season on her back it looks like the same with the reunion Portia and Kenya haven't had any beef all season now she wants to get crunk and, Nini's pu and be Nini's puppet at the reunion pathetic Tanya was acting so stupid the real Tanya came out Nene is being typical Nene, loud, disgusting, and narcissistic. Ooh, Andy be Andy Cohen be writing those questions. He can't stand Kenya, and he can't find, and he can't even hide it. I'm ready for Candy to get into Nene. I know that's right. I am too. I can't wait to hear what Candy has to say. Me too. I'm embedded in your motherfucking brain, brain bitch. bitch. <laughs> bah! Bah! <laughs> <laughs> <She's so> <laughs> With them, them tired ass reads. <laughs> oh my God. Diva. And she talked, did you see how she cleaned that up? It's because, um, what'd she say? It's because I'm, I'm old. I'm going through menopause. <laughs> Girl, what? 
I'm elderly. <laughs> now you elderly. Right. Here's um <clears throat> I keep coughing. I wish Kenya, here's Peter Cox nine. I wish Kenya would leave the show and make no mistake. I speak as someone who lives for Kenya, but at this point, Kenya is slumming. Let Nene and the fools who co-sign her foolishness have that show. Mm. You think she should leave Diva? I, I think she should. If, if, what if Phaedra comes back? Uh, I don't uh, I, I don't I, see it for her coming back. Um, people like to get stuck on her. And, oh, she she's the only one that can really get Kenya. No, she can't because when they have ever, when they have been one on one going at each other, Phaedra never wins. Like a, like on a, just a scene at the park, for instance, they can't. They, she never wins. The only time she can really come at Kenya is when she never rehearsed her damn closing argument at the damn reunion that she has practiced over and over and over and over. But she she just can't. She she's not quick like that. And I hate when people are like, oh, she can read. No, she cannot. She does it in the she does it in the confessionals. She she does her reads in the confessional. I think everybody loves that, but I don't think I, I and I don't think it's cool. I think for anybody to want her to come back after what she did to Candy, I think that's like the lowest. I think that's worse than bringing the cookie lady on. I think what oh, Phaedra yeah. did to to Candy, and you know y'all know I ain't here for Candy, but what she did for her to her. I think that's worse than Kenya bringing that that cookie later. I think it's worse than calling PJ Dennis. I think it's worse than what what Cynthia and Nini got. I think it's worse than all of that. Anybody who's going to accuse somebody or make a suggestion that somebody was about to commit a crime, such as rape, and somebody with a brand like Candy, but she was trying to sabotage that lady. You are a liability, and you don't need to be around me. Right. Get away from me. With and that. you took an oath. So I'm I, I, I'm so confused as to why she did that. It, th this TV show can't mean that much to you. No, it's revenge. It's getting revenge. It was revenge for Candy. I believe it was Ken when Candy started siding with Kenya and saying that Kenya, you guys need to apologize to Kenya because of what Apollo lied about. I believe that what it, what y'all correct me if I'm wrong because the reason it was something it was something the reason why uh, Phaedra turned against candy something happened. i can't remember it, i think it was something about, that's what it was that's i think it was, was her because she was she was cool with it's it's better to believe the lie yeah than the truth mm -hmm. and then she wanted everybody like and that's i think that's one but I, I don't want her on the show i don't want her on the show bring back sheree uh -uh. <laughs> she was on watch what happens live did you she watch was. it that's what i'm thinking like is she coming back because he never does that and I don't know if he did that because of the beef with her and Nini that was in the, um like on social media. Maybe that was it because I can't imagine them. A woman, you come back, you you get one chance, you f it up, and you you um don't do nothing with your platform, no fashion. They you leave, you stick you stick up for Kim, you leave, you both leave, you come back. Then Kim comes back. You stick up for her again. Then your ass leaves again. You still ain't done nothing with, with your platform. I think Sheree has squandered the platform that is the housewife. And she does not deserve another yeah, chance. She squandered it. She has. Where's your athlete? Where's your joggers, bitch? It's been summer, spring, fall, winter. Summer, spring, fall, winter. She released, I heard she released something. But I heard they're very expensive. And I'm like, girl... So nobody won't buy them. And then right. you could blame it and say, oh, I missed my, my market, my price point for my market. No, girl. I mean, I, I, I'm not here for Sheree. I'm not here for Phaedra. Not in any way. Why is everyone acting like Portia's receipts aren't believable when we've seen how Kenya has been treating Cynthia lately? And Cynthia's so damn dumb and, ob and oblivious. That was from Millie. Uh, Millie. <laughs> girl. <laughs> And somebody, Hazel, Hazel A. Marie said, maybe because Portia is a proven liar and has yet to produce authentic receipts. Right. And here we are again. We have already seen that the receipts, Cynthia has said it. She just said it on Speak On It. It was more about Eva, Eva. than it was Eva. about me. She said, I thought I was about to see something that was going to break up our friendship. And it was about Eva. Right. It does not make any sense for Ken to talk to Portia. They're not friends. Why would she talk to Portia about Cynthia. That makes absolutely no sense. It doesn't make any sense. And and like 
that's it that doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't even make sense. And any for anyone to actually believe that, I would never want you on a jury of mine. Never. They you believe it because it's Kenya. Yeah, that's if it only was reason. Anybody else, it wouldn't be believable. Mm-mm. Somebody said, "Oh, Sherry McMinify says, are you serious? Nene knew just like everyone else. Mm-mm. Are you serious? Nene knew just everyone else. Come on. She was just at Portia's home during COVID and Marlo knew. Tanya knew and Nene wanted to be different, thought she was running shit and they made her change. Oh, that's what she, oh, about the wearing in the white. Because remember, she started off wearing black. So what do you think, Diva? She said that it was a setup, that the producer set her up. But how is it that everybody was wearing yeah, Even if it was a setup, what was your homegirls telling you? Because Kenya she, she said, wanted to, yeah, like, girl, she wanted to do that. She wanted to wear that damn black so she could go off and put on something else. Yeah. But it, it, it makes no sense because I know she she had to speak with Marlo. I know she spoke with Portia. Tina, yeah. And I'm sure they all told them that they're wearing white. That's why I was like, I, I don't know. It's Nene. And then why does Nene have this lawyer, Lisa Bloom? What is this about? Because I feel like she, I don't know. It's something about to happen. I, I don't know what she's doing. Picture, to be honest. You think so? She might have saw her strolling in the streets. So girl, let's take a picture and put it out there. Honey. Because what have they done? They haven't done anything. Who? With her and Lisa, Lisa Bloom? Bloom? Uh-huh, no, I haven't. Have you heard anything like, additional Nene, to that? Nene keeps saying that she's stressed out because of the show. She's in therapy because of the show. This is stressful because of the show. And everybody's talking about me. And it's because of the show. And it's because of the show. But you are a part of the show. And you are a part of the stress. And, and, and <laughs> fighting to keep the position on the show. I was like, I don't know what right. is going on with Nene. She doesn't take accountability. And that's just that. It's you, 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 you. That's why she was sitting there a, a couple of seasons back when she was sitting over there with Dr. Jeff. Like, everybody else had the damn problem. Right. And then when they started talking about her mother, she broke down and did not want to talk about her mom. Right. But all of Kenya's issues are attributed to her mother abandoning her. <laughs> Girl. Maybe Cynthia Candy and this is William McCauley. Maybe Cynthia Candy Kenya had a feeling when Portia texted them and was plotting against Nene, that it was a scheme set up by Nene to have Portia go with them with the bullshit. And they <laughs> saw right through it, but went along with it to see how long Portia was going to go along with it. Oh, so like they knew that Portia was going to fold and then girl, mm-hmm. let's just entertain her. And we know she's going to eventually go back to Nene. Right. We'll see what. Cause they said it on the speak on it today. They said like when Nene was going on her apology tour, um, that they knew Portia was going to go back with her because they knew Portia was the last one that Nene needed to apologize to. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, he went on to say, honey, he went on to say, that's probably why Candy and Kenya didn't release the text messages. Like they said, they have on the after show that true friends on the show is a little inside joke. Same thing Nene did with Snakegate with Yavana. The same way Nene ran her con maybe she mean coon ass to Bravo last season after filming. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The same way Nene ran her con ass to Bravo last season after filming rap with the narrative about Candy, Cynthia, and Kenya plotting against her. That's why it doesn't add up. All you need is a bottle of Hennessy to fuck Portia. That's that's <laughs> magic. <laughs> Wait, 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 he's not done. He's not done. Um, all you need is a bottle of Hennessy to fuck Portia. That's Magic City loving hip hop. Bravo, like Nene said, Portia is a declassing the show. Honey, that was William McCauley. <coughs> that was so funny. Oh my. Diva, you can't hear me coughing, can you? Get it together, Diva. Oh. <laughs> girl Woo. that old lady gang reference will never get old it really won't that was a scheme set up by Todd to have Portia go with him or by Nene to have Portia go with him to the bullshit 
with the bullshit. This gets on my last. Oh, here's somebody, Charles Jeffrey, who didn't read the who didn't read the title. We almost coming up on on our time. This is getting on my motherfucking nerves. We can't even see the show. It's always a fucking review on every damn one you click on. And we're well, not bitch, get you some goddamn cable. Maybe you can see the goddamn show. They got about twenty goddamn streaming services out there that your ass can watch the show on. So all the time that you just spent writing that goddamn review could have been spent clicking again <laughs> on some other shit fine. to find the goddamn show. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Uh, <laughs> ooh. Um, Lee Park says, I fell, I fell out when he called Tanya Pennywise. Girl, I love Tanya, but every now and then I see her, and now I think of that damn clown. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you say Tanya looks like Pennywise. <laughs> she does, and I don't take it back. <laughs> In the sewer with a red balloon. <laughs> <laughs> you know them damn memes that he having about. <laughs> Oh, I got, I got, what What was one? It was like, I got food stamps out here, and they were like, pull my knees. <laughs> <laughs> food stamps for sale down here. Pull my knees. <laughs> <laughs> what did the clown be looking from the, from the sewer? <laughs> looking up. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, diva. Oh shit. Okay, diva. Okay, here we go. Here's a couple, a few more, and then we be done. Woo! Portia is picking a fight with Nene, and Kenya hasn't said one cross thing about her all season. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Portia is not dumb. You see, season nine, she would have had that baby with Todd, the cute broke boyfriend, but the money man. God, yes, yeah, she knows with no money, she would be a struggle face hoe with a big butt, just a basic bitch. No Eva, no Kenya, no Cynthia with no money. God damn. Hey, that was um, Naisha. Keep it moving, girl. <laughs> she That's moved Portia ass right along. She sure <laughs> did. You ain't nothing but a big butt basic bitch if you don't marry a nigga with money. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Let me tell y'all, Eva and Kenya jump Nene's ass good. This is uh, Cog Mr. V. When Kenya said, I don't think Nene's apologies are genuine, I hollered. I hope Eva returns because she got enough enemies to keep her peach. You think Eva's coming back? I hope so. Why? She, she I mean, I want to see Eva the diva. That's who I want. Yeah, that's who I want to see. I don't want to see pregnant Eva. Eva, Eva the mama. I want to see so Eva the diva. Okay. If she does come back, this is Bravo's like last opportunity with her, I, I oh. believe. Because most of the time she's been on the show, she's been pregnant. Yeah, and so she hasn't been able to have fun. Now, we talking about the girl on Beverly Hills' ass now because she can, she's pregnant and can't have any fun. Mm -hmm. Teddy, is that her name? And nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Like, have your kids, but you got to make you got to make the money to take care of these. And guys you got we want to be entertained, <laughs> but we right. want to be entertained too. You're on a show to entertain people. If you want to be on Rachel Ray or Martha Stewart or own. With, your, with the me and the Sterlings, the Sterling family, go there with that. Or what's the other one where they go with their families? We, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You on a show for drama, girl. Bring Eva the diva. That's what right. we want to say. And even if she is pregnant, like to me, go after Marlo every chance you get. Honey, diva. Now I, I we didn't get to ask you. What did you think about Marlo at the March of Dimes event when she was saying that? <laughs> okay, let me get myself together. When she was saying, <laughs> you don't let me get my <laughs> when she was saying how she has had she had an ectopic pre pregnancy, we're not that's not funny or anything of like that. But she was saying how she was you used to just pray to God like God, why me? Why can't I find somebody to love me, Marlo? Who was the man? Who? When did we ever seen you with a man? Where? When, when did this happen? I don't yes. believe the, the men that you said. with. The men that you with can't be filmed because they leaving you, they fucking you, and leaving your damn the money on the damn nightstand. God's not answering no prayers for no hooker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't bring God into that shit, please don't. <laughs> don't have nothing to do with it. Diva, I didn't believe her. I don't believe Marlo. I didn't believe Marlo. 
I know I'm gonna get some some mess for that. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get some shit for that. Okay, we got about five more minutes. Okay, all right. Let me see. Somebody says CJ the realist said, "I I so love when Nate laughs. I love when you two are together." Shout out to CJ the realist. Oh, CJ. Oh, let's see. Okay, hold on. Why does Nene? Okay, here's Tara Jordan. Why does Nene talk about someone's appearance when Nene is the only one that has had stuff done to her face? And Portia knows her damn man is ugly and look and her baby looks like Dennis. And Portia even had her own baby pictures to prove that her baby looked like her. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when Portia was trying to put her picture up against her baby picture? Mm -hmm. Her baby picture saying, oh, we do look alike. No, that looked like the hot dog factory's baby. That baby came out the hot dog factory, the original hot dog factory. Who <laughs> hot dog Not the original. In every, the, in every bun in downtown Atlanta. Town, oh my God, I, it's Erica and Nate. I love you two together. I miss your reviews of Real Housewives. You two and you two and a couple other members of the, oh, child. Fresh Collective on my first subscriptions. Okay. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Shit. Know. Girl. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what is that? <coughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a long one. Elisa Brace with me. Hold on, I got a cough. I'm sorry, y'all. Let it out, Diva. Okay, let's get me some. Go and see a person, go and see a person get your um go get your cough me. drop. I'm getting my I'm getting my stash. <laughs> Oh. This is vodka. Oh. I'm just I'm kidding. Not drink, I'm not drinking tonight. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> you been cutting up? I know that bottle truck tired of seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, yeah, not again. Bitch, you picking me up again. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we wait till Friday, bitch? <laughs> right. <laughs> I need to. I need to. <laughs> Shit, here you come again, looking in my face. Right. <laughs> Diva, that was so funny. Diva, why are you not drinking? You trying to be a, a nun? Going back to the car. Yes. <laughs> trying to be a motherfucking lady. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alicia Brace with me says, Oh my God, let's start off with me Minnie wanting to be Nini so bad with all the animations, Portia. Portia was mad at Eva for no reason. That child looks like Dennis. And mad at Kenya for what, when, how, and why would Kenda message you, Kenya message you about Cynthia when you guys have never been friends? The show needs a serious shakeup. Tanya and Marlo need to go. And sorry, also beautiful Eva. We need some beautiful, dark-skinned, educated, successful women on the show with some classy reads. Classy. Classy. Portia and... Let me see. I just woke up. Okay. Divas, yes. Love the reviews. You two have me rolling. Okay. Okay. Here's somebody that says, from St. Lucian, Kenya's marriage certificate is not fake. Listen, I gagged when she pulled it out. I wasn't prepared. Then someone said, underneath her, that was from Mindy. Then Christina Mitchell said, oh, wow, re really? Um, that's good to know because a YouTuber, and I'm not going to say her name, really doesn't believe it's authentic. She did a whole video episode about it. She says she's entitled to her personal opinion. My mom also called me and was gagging at the marriage license receipt. Before this, I was open to the possibility of the marriage being fake, even though I believed her. Now I will need both Kenya and Mark or registrar's office in SLU to release a statement telling me it ain't real. She said, How, why did your mom gag? And she said, because she didn't believe the marriage was real, but the license showed her otherwise. I, I, I'm so confused why they think Kenya is lying all the time. I don't know, a, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know a, a, a proven lie that she has told. Walter I said she lied about Walter. That's because people just believe the man. The man can yeah. say anything and y'all just believe him. Anything, he just say anything. Y'all believe she would go out and find a, her a receding, a man with a receding hairline. She went from that to Mark, girl. The, the beauty queen and, and went the to Walter. Baby, the baby Walter, girl. And it's always, it, it, they're so, ugh. she ain't got no money, but she paying for these men. Which one is it? 
Bitch, I'm about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Kia broke as hell. She ain't got no money. I don't like, man. She paid for these men. Off, like, but she also paid off all of Mark's tax. She took a, maybe she's taking out loans and credit cards to pay for these men that she got. And they never owned a home before. She read she herself read. with that. That's something she should have just kept that shit to herself. You fifty something years old and, and you live in Atlanta. And you don't own, you have never owned a home before? And anybody can own a home in Atlanta, literally. And you haven't owned one before? Girl, I don't believe right. it. Right. I can't, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. And that's really sad. That is really sad. It's illegal married. All government agencies recognize that marriage. You also have the option later to get a certificate in the state you reside. So you have two certificates. I don't know why they think she's lying anyway. I don't, I, I don't, that was Phaedra's doing. Phaedra's doing is the person who was like, Kenya is lying. Kenya is lying. Kenya is lying. And ever since, ever since then, it's been like she's lying about everything, even though she comes back and says, okay, well, this is real. What are you going to do? Right. All right, Diva. That was 46 minutes. That was fun, Diva. Did you have fun? I did. It didn't even seem that long. 46 minutes, honey. We can keep going, but uh, she has to go. <laughs> she has to go. I gotta get this throat. Right, right. Did you take the test? You might. Yeah, I, need to, I need to have some tea. I've been talking, running my mouth. You know, every time I start a new class, Diva, I start losing my voice. Mm. So I gotta go. It might be the reefer, too. Oh. It might it just might be. Anyways, Diva, we have 46 minutes. Thank you guys for stopping by here and going through the commenting. Comments. Shout out to everybody who left comments. Sorry we couldn't read it. So over, I, it's childish. Let me see. It, they say it's uh, how many comments in here? 800 and something, child. It's a lot. Y'all y'all been y'all been running your mouth. Oh, 358. I was looking at 8. I thought it was 850 something. <laughs> y'all been running. It's, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. It was time for me to go. Well, y'all, thank y'all for stopping by. We will see y'all, um, what, Sunday for Sunday. the for part two of the reunion. Thank you for chilling with us tonight. You guys keep yourself safe. Wash your hands. And we'll talk to y'all later. Take care of yourself and um, protect your energy. Peace. Bye. Well, let's see. Let me stop recording this.